Hello, my name is Antonio Battini and I'll show you an effective way how to easily render out the animation's depth past for compositing later on in compositing software. Here I've already prepared simple animation in Unreal Engine 5. I'll show you what is the problem which I encountered with the engine. Here under buffer visualization and I'm looking for uh, scene depth. So you can see when you are trying to use BP Sky, you'll get this nasty effect when rendering depth pass. These zebra stripes also appear in open spaces where the distant view is uh, relatively large. Let's create a new material and name it M underscore post process depth. Open up the material graph and first of all you want to change the material domain to post process. We need a texture coordinate node. Drag it out and type scene depth. Now I'll subtract this value with the scalar parameter. Just hold S and click anywhere. I'll name it depth start and leave it zero value for now. The subtracted value I'll divide with another scalar parameter and name it depth end. I will give it a default value of 500. Plug it in and connect everything to the emission color. Now, if we zoom this sphere out, you will already see a fading effect. Save this and create a material instance. Here we have our two parameters, start and end. Next, we have to create a post process volume. Click up there and type post and drag the volume into the scene. Type in search bar unbound and check this mark because we want to apply this post process across the whole level so that we don't have to worry about leaving the post process area with the camera. Clear the search bar and type in material, add an array element from the drop down menu, click on S reference and now you'll be able to look for the material we've created. As you can see, depth pass is applied now and we don't have those nasty zebra stripes in the sky and in the distance. I'll open the material instance because I want to do the fine tuning of my depth pass. Under the depth and I'll type 1100, that's 11 meters. You can see when I change the depth start, I can offset the black color forwards or backwards. Let's put it on 100. Usually, you will determine depth start and end based on the effect which you want to achieve later on in the post, but for the purpose of this example, this will work. Now I'm going to render this out as a depth pass. Disable JPEG, because we need 16-bit color. Under the Exports section, select 16-bit EXR. I'll set compression to none, because this isn't necessary at the moment, and I'll disable multi-layer, because we'll render out only a single pass. Our depth pass is saved and now the quickest way to get rid of the post-process volume is to hit delete. And now I'll render an 8-bit uh, JPEG sequence, hit accept and render. In the second part of the video I'll show you how to do the depth compositing inside of the After Effects. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.